Two of the last guests we welcomed in the studio in 2022 shared such inspiring words that I immediately knew I had to include them in my Best Advice series. We're lucky to have met filmmaker Guillermo del Toro and actress Michaela J. Rodriguez. You know Oscar-winning director Guillermo del Toro from his films Pan's Labyrinth and The Shape of Water. He visited LinkedIn Studios to talk about his version of the classic tale Pinocchio, a stop-motion animated film on Netflix. When I first met him, I was struck by how present and attentive he was, generous with his time, engaging with everyone in the room. The entire conversation was a masterclass in collaboration and leadership. And I also love the advice he gives his children. When I arrive, for example, to the editing room, I say, what do you need, uh, love or brutality? <laughs> I love that. And then they say, no, be brutal, and then you're brutal. I think you are only as strong as your community. There's no such thing as uh, standing alone. A career inside your life uh, is biography, and it's the equivalent of my, my career is the equivalent of a, a car crash in slow motion that takes 30 years to see if you come alive or not. The essence of art is the negotiation between perfection and spontaneity, you know, or reality, which is imperfection. And, and that negotiation occupies art in all its arenas. Technically, you have to prepare a perfect shoot because otherwise uh, everything fails. Uh, so uh, te technically you are fully prepared and then you seek the accident. Imagine that the director is the conductor of a symphony orchestra. Of course you want the flute players to play as good as they can and the violin players to play as good as they can. Of course you want that. You're not playing a single instrument. You're playing the orchestra. That's mm -hmm. directing, that's conducting. And, and uh, of course you need to know where a, a bar was off or the tempo is off, but that's your job. Uh, when we started this movie, I, I stood in the middle of the set in Portland, in Oregon, and I said to all the animators, no one will give us notes that we need to change the movie. No one. I will protect everyone's creativity. I said, we're going to cater only to our instincts in this endeavor. And I made that promise. And when your team knows you are strong enough to deliver that promise, they trust you and themselves to give you their 100% because it will not be thrown away. That is huge. Yeah. That is huge because then you are a benign, uh, a benign force that is there for everybody to have the best experience. And I, I find honestly in life in general, not just if you want to receive, give. It's the easiest. You want to be happy, give. Don't think about what you have. Think about what you can do. And uh, when I talk to my kids uh, and and. I tell them this uh, recipe sounds really silly, but uh, the 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 only way you can feel uh, as like a rich person is not by how much you have, is by how little you need. Michaela J. Rodriguez is an acclaimed actress and singer. From her stage career performing in Rent and Little Shop of Horrors to screen productions like Pose or Lin Manuel Miranda's Tick Tick Boom, and now the series Loot. MJ is all about perseverance and hard work. There's always going to be a block or a wall, but there's always a way to knock it down. So just make sure you get that wrecking ball. It may cost you a little bit to get it, but make sure you knock that thing down. Never let anyone, anything deter you from what you're doing. You are on the right path. You have everything you know you have. Just keep doing it. The one tip I would say is be selfish with your time. Know how important that is. Be selfish with your time because we don't have that much. I would say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. Constructive criticism is not always negative. Though it may come at you in a way you may think is abrasive or overbearing, there's still something in there that can help you. So, don't take it to heart. Hear it, listen to it and move forward with the information that you've retained. I love resurfacing these stories, and now I want to hear from you. What's the best advice you have ever received? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and for more advice from the biggest names in business and entertainment, subscribe to my Best Advice newsletter on LinkedIn.